Hi, I'm Nick Feller, a Solutions Manager on Marketing Analytics on Google Cloud. I'm excited to be with you today to share some information about how you can get started on Marketing Analytics with Google Cloud. In this session, we'll look at what is Marketing Analytics, how you can get started with Marketing Analytics using Instant BQML, and finally, we're going to hear about a customer who's already begun their journey using Google Cloud and Marketing Analytics. So, what is Marketing Analytics and why are we focusing on it now? Well, the digital ads landscape is experiencing an important paradigm shift. Government regulation, industry changes, and consumer preferences are always driving higher scrutiny of user privacy and demanding more accountability from marketers. To evolve, marketers will need to prioritize building privacy-forward data strategy. Think about how they're collecting, measuring, and activating first-party data, and also gain a better understanding of customers' behavior by breaking down silos to better inform marketing and personalization. And when customers focus on building a solid first-party data foundation, it can yield incremental revenue and improve cost efficiencies. And so when we think about many possible marketing analytics use cases available on Google Cloud, they will often involve different types of data with various applications and objectives. To begin building a solid first-party data foundation combined with Google Cloud's world-class machine learning capabilities, a propensity model is the first marketing analytics use case every organization should be considering to optimize their marketing performance. So now I'll hand it off to Tyron to share some details about Instant BQML Marketing Analytics Solution. Thanks, Nick. Hi, I'm Tyron Schiff, a Marketing Analytics Specialist in Google Cloud. Like Nick said, propensity modeling is a use case every organization should be thinking about leveraging right now, since it builds that solid first-party data foundation with the predictive capabilities of Google Cloud machine learning. One of the most accessible data sets to get you going on propensity modeling is Google Analytics data. Google Analytics measures your customer's journey across your app and web properties. This customer journey data is rich, full of fascinating details that can be easily exported to BigQuery, analyzed and modeled to make predictions about future interactions. Google Analytics also integrates directly with Google Ads, where marketers can activate these modeled predictions to make their marketing more intelligent. And we've seen this strategy work in a variety of contexts for many different clients. But the formula is usually the same, Google Analytics and BigQuery. So, how can you start tapping into the insights you're measuring with Google Analytics to optimize your marketing performance? Well, that's where Instant BQML comes in. Instant BQML is a simple form available on the internet. Try Googling Instant BQML that you fill out with details about your Google Analytics and Google Cloud account. The form generates an automated, customized machine learning pipeline that models your Google Analytics data using BigQuery ML, makes predictions, integrates the predictions back into Google Analytics, and creates audience segments that can be applied in Google Ads to optimize your marketing performance. The form takes approximately 30 minutes to complete, dramatically reducing the complexity and time typically needed to deploy these sophisticated solutions for what used to take months to minutes. Instant BQML runs on a Google open source project called CRM Mint, which handles all of the automation and connects to all of the cloud services involved in executing the propensity modeling pipeline. 
To deploy the instant BQML solution, start exporting your Google Analytics data to BigQuery. Find the users with the right permissions to Google Analytics and Google Cloud, and follow the instructions on the instant BQML form from top to bottom. You'll be up and running in no time. I think that instant BQML could be a great way for you to get started with marketing analytics on Google Cloud to help you achieve more optimal marketing performance. Finally, I've invited one of our customers who used Instant BQML to identify high value audience segments to share their experience using Google Cloud for marketing analytics. Hi there, Brent. Uh, would, would you mind telling us a, a little bit about yourself and uh, your organization? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my name is Brent Christensen. I am a senior director of marketing, uh, specifically paid search marketing at Overstock.com. Uh, and Overstock.com is one of the largest e commerce uh, pure play marketplaces out there. Uh, we specialize in home goods. And um, I've been working here for about a decade, a little over a decade now. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, well, well, thanks uh, for the, for that context. And, you know, I, I worked with you uh, a while back now on uh, solving a, a specific type of, of problem, but uh, maybe you could shed a little bit of light on what, what problems were you trying to solve uh, when leveraging some of the marketing analytics capabilities from Google Cloud? Well, it was actually part of a bigger um move and shift into BigQuery and gcp overall uh, when we started to see the power that um, gcp had specifically for our edw we wanted to expand and we wanted to try and utilize as much as we could and that includes of course analytics um, and the speed at which the the big query moves and is able to pull data is incredible um, we use an on-prem edw before and we were really excited to see what, what capabilities BigQuery had. Um, so as part of that, we wanted to do, uh, won't call it a beta, but we wanted to test something. We wanted to test what, what BigQuery uh, was able to, to show us. And in this case, we did it with audiences. So um, we, we started with uh, IBQML, which is you know, BigQuery machine learning. We started it with some audiences that we thought might help us to get more efficient. And uh, so we ran that and then put them into our Google ads and uh, executed that uh, in that way. Excellent. Uh, yeah, and such a such a great use case uh, as well to sort of analyze and, and model uh, your data. What what sort of uh, data did, did you start with um, when when you were thinking about kind of this transition to BigQuery? So um, <laughs> Like I said before, we we shifted everything. I mean, uh, BigQuery is now our EDW, um, and so when an overstock, as you can imagine, I mean, uh, we have a lot of data, and so when when we shifted, we went big. We completely turned off our old EDW, and now uh, BigQuery is our. It, it holds essentially all of our data for reporting, analytics, and is our one source to to go to for for all of this. So. Um, we really pushed a lot and then specifically for um ml in this this particular instance what we were looking for is um an audience a segmentation of customers that could show that they were more valuable than another and so of course we have audiences that were uploading using our first party data was there anything else that we could add to make that that much better um when you're dealing with companies as large as we are um, and as many customers as we have trying to get that edge on the data is crucial and that's where we wanted to go so we focused on customers and customer segments to edge out any competition and to make that data as efficient as possible fantastic yeah and so after you you know uh, segmented that data uh, converted it back into an audience um, what, what was the sort of impact uh, that you were able to see from leveraging Google Cloud, uh, your first party data, and machine learning? 
So we actually saw um, an increase in conversion rate with those particular audiences. Um, we went from, uh, it was actually about a 20% gain in conversion rate when we compared the IBQML audiences to other audiences. And that includes um, our, uh, our largest audience, basically just a big group of our customers and other non-segmented, non-specifically segmented customers. Fantastic. I mean, uh, a twenty percent improvement is uh, is fantastic. Uh, how how did how did those sorts of results benefit you uh, and and benefit Overstock uh, in, in general? So um, our only regret is that the audience segment was was as small as it was. Um, our 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 wish is that we would have made it bigger. So this was a, a smaller test with a smaller segment. Um, what it really did is help us understand just the power that we had and what BigQuery was capable of. Um, and that's where we're on to for our next series is trying to add even more audiences, get more segmentation, and to really expand this out. Um, and that we're hoping adds a, a, a big shift in our efficiency and of course our ad spend, which seems to, seems to be increasing all the time. <laughs> yeah. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, but obviously, by leveraging some of these technologies in uh, conjunction with one another, you're hopefully getting the, the biggest bang for that buck, uh, so to speak. Um, great. So, uh, you know, I, I understand that you were just saying that, you know, maybe one of the things that you would have loved is like these audiences to be larger. Or, and, and it sounds like you're, you're kind of uh, experimenting with other sorts of models, uh, you know, in the future. Um, what, what, what else uh, do you think, uh, you know, is planned for Overstock, uh, you know, going forward now, now that you've started to kind of crack the nut uh, on, on advanced marketing activations and, and marketing analytics on Google Cloud? Well, it's, it's not just limited to machine learning. Um, what really is exciting for us is the integration that you get from BigQuery to GA4 and then into Google Ads. So while we're not perfect at this and we have a long way to go, especially with how new GA4 is, that integration is what we're really excited about. So starting with these um, audiences that, in all honesty, were small, but we really plan on expanding that out using BigQuery as our central hub of data pushing that out as much data as we can into GA4, which then integrates seamlessly into Google Ads. And once again, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm over a, a, a fairly large budget of ad spend, and we have to try and make that as efficient as possible. So that's where we're headed, and that's where we see the future at. Fantastic. Well, uh, Brent, this has, been a, this has been a great conversation. Uh, th thanks very much for, for sharing some of your insights and your experience using uh, Google Cloud for marketing analytics. Um, and uh, thank you. Thank you.